return on investment goes beyond money. Uh, it has to do with the people, the talent, the unlimited capabilities of the drone. A whole lot of things I don't know about drones, so I'm learning about other people's use cases, which is really interesting. We're using this uh, event very much as a sort of think tank to work out why we're not doing more with drones. The one thing that I'd like to see drone technology achieve in the next three to five years would be what it can do within the health sector uh, to save as many lives as possible. Delivery of blood, food, that kind of thing, especially in the wide open spaces of Africa, would be really useful. It would also be great to see uh, micro drones becoming more affordable so that the masses could use them more. Basically, currently you have one drone, one operator, but the all business efficiencies where you have one operator controlling hundreds of drones, and that's something we have been working on at the moment, and I think that's where the industry will be transitioning within the next uh, five to ten years. Drone highway, stenosphere, filled with drones, doing what you know they're supposed to do, reducing um, congestion on the drone and reducing the uh, CO2 impact on the planet. I think the main thing that would be really brilliant is to actually move from the test and demonstration and trial phase to full-scale commercialization. We always knew the drone world is a small world, but it's surprising that in the Middle East, in the UK, in Europe, we're all facing the same issues, same problems, same, 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 everything. From a regulation point of view or technical point of view or UTM point of view, it was informative and great connections.